hello guys uh, in this video we'll be talking about custom paints so with custom paints we can draw basic things from lines to really basic shapes like circles triangles and some curves and also we can also create really cool stuff like this animation right here uh, but in this video we'll only be talking about the basics so let's get started So we are going to start by drawing a line and to start this we need to use um, the custom paint widget. The custom paint widget takes in two things, um, the painter and the child. The painter is basically a custom painter class so we need to create that here. Uh, class, let's call it the line painter which extends custom painter and we need to create two override methods and uh, which are basically paint and should repaint the paint method the paint method right here is where all the magic happens this is where you you draw whatever you want to draw the covers you want to draw the line you want to draw a triangle you want to draw anything you want to draw it could be a cartoon anything and and the should repaint tells the custom painter if you want it to basically like refresh like repaint this is good for um, you know maybe when you're doing animations and stuff but right here we just return false okay so now we need to call the line we need to use the line painter in our custom paint widgets and also create a child which is which will basically be a container now that we have everything set up, now we can start painting. Uh, so first to create a paint variable, call it paint, goes to paint, yes, and let's give it a stroke width of 3, of 3, and then the color, I think the color is black by default, so now let's paint our line let's draw our line canvas dots draw line our uh, thing is the canvas gives us uh, several methods to help us draw and paint whatever we need to draw so here you can see the draw line the draw path draw oval draw circle draw rectangle and so much more so the only thing we need here right now is the draw line so uh, as you can see the drawline takes in three things uh, the points p1 p2 and paint p1 point one point two and then paint because basically a line is just uh, a distance between you know two points which is our p1 and p2 so let's create our p1 and p2 so they are offsets offset p1 got to offset So the offsets uh, takes in two things, the, the y and the x. The x, uh, basically the horizontal components and then the y, the vertical components. So for the first point, since we just want to draw a line that cuts across the screen for, uh, from our left to our right. So our first point has to be the left side, which is basically the beginning of our, of our canvas. Which is so let's give it 10.0. We can give it 0. Point, we can give it 0 instead of 10, but it's better for us to. I just want us to put like a little space, like a pattern between it. And the dy should be the height divided by 2 because it wants to be, to be in the middle of the screen, of course. And the second point now, P2 offsets uh, should be at the end of the screen which is so we we'll get the width of our canvas for this and then subtract 10 from it and our the y is basically going to be the same thing as, as the y of the first point so size dot height 
divided by 2. So if we reload this now, we should get a line across our screen. That's that for the line. Now let's move to the circle. Um, so I've already created, um, already added the custom paint widgets and created the custom painter class. So we just we just need to dive straight into uh, painting. So to to draw a circle, the canvas gives us uh, the draw circle function, which takes in uh, three things. Uh, the first one is the center the radius and then the paint so um since we want our we want our circle let's just assume we want our circle to be at the middle of the screen now that means our c if we integrate our c which is the offset uh to the y the x since we want it to be at the center of our screen we just need to divide our width and our height by two two uh, dot height sorry dot height divided by two and now we put it in here and then for our radius let's just give it like uh, 70 for example so now if we refresh so we reload we should get the circle in the middle of our screen. Very, very straightforward. All right, let's move to the rectangle now. Um, okay, I've already created the custom painter class and I've passed it to the custom paint widget already. So let's just dive into painting. So the canvas gives us a draw rect method that we can use, which takes in a rect and a paint. Uh, can create our rect. Rect rect is equal to rect dot. So when we we can see um, the rect, we can create our rectangle from different things: from center, from circle, from uh, left, top, right, bottom, from points, and the other one. But we'll be using from circle right now. Uh, so basically. That takes in two things, the center and the radius. So let's give it the radius of 70, just like when we create in our circle. And um, let's, let's create our center, which is an offset, of course. Offsets. OK. Um, uh, the y size dot width slash two size dot height slash two okay um, center not offset so now that is it uh, if we we have to reload this new code into our VM out into the that VM uh, we should get a rectangle right on the screen. So now we are going to move the triangle. Um, I already created the entire custom paint painter class. So drawing the triangle is going to be a little bit different than the other ones uh, because the canvas doesn't give us uh, any method like the draw triangle method. So we are going to be making use of the draw path method right now. So to do this, we need to create a path variable. Yep. And now, basically, we're just going to be moving from one line to the other. Basically, just like you know, using our pencil to draw the canvas. So uh, we want our first point to be somewhere around here my cursor is right now so um, do path does move to that should be the first thing with so it's that's basically the middle of our horizontal 
access so uh, with slash two then and also i believe that's like the like one third of our canvas the canvas is the entire white space here so that should be size size dot height slash three okay so now we need to move the line down towards the left side uh, to do that path dot path dot line to sorry line to here so I'll say that's 80 and I'll add the X and then I'll add the Y uh, that should be maybe size that's I'll say that's 400 for example and um, next we move it to the right F from the top we take it down to the left and now we move it to the right side moving to the right side path dot line to again size dot width this time again to subtract 80 more width and also 400 for the, the Y now let's reload and see if anything is going to come up on the screen okay so now we have something that's almost a triangle uh, now we just need to move the line back from the right back to the top all we need to do is just close it path dot close and now we have a complete I would say equilateral triangle perhaps <laughs> yeah so next we will be working with curves uh, sometimes we see um, UI designers create really simple curves like this in the UI probably on login screens or on splash screens and some of us sometimes I have to import like image assets to be able to create recreate the design well uh, using custom paint uh, kind of saves saves us you know like the storage the memory uh, let's get to it so to 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 create something like this we need to use the canvas dot draw path just like we did with the triangle. Uh, so basically the idea is to kind of draw a rectangle first, then curve, then then create the curve at the bottom. So uh, we create the path. Move to zero, 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 zero because we want it to start from here, if you can follow my cursor. We want to start from this point, which is zero, 0 for the X and 0 for the Y. Then we, we move the line to somewhere on this this area, in this area, which is still 0 for the X and then at about 200 for the Y. Then we move it down, we move it to the right now, uh, which is about size dot width, and then um, that should still be 200. Okay, now we have something that is kind of like a right, uh, a triangle on our screen. Now we need to move it up, we need to move it back up. Which is a um, line to size the width and zero at zero and let's not forget to close. Okay, now we have like basically we, we basically have a a rectangle here a rectangle here. That means we are very close to where we're going. What we need to do now is to curve the bottom 
of this rectangle and to do this we use uh, the quadratic bezier tool which takes in four things 2x and 2y which is x1 y1 x2 y2 um, the x2 and the y2 are basically um, the direction points if I can call it that and then the y x1 and the y1 are basically the control points for the curve direction points for the line and the control point for the curve um, so we can just copy this thing for the x2 and the y2 which are like direction points and then we can basically just remove that line and now for our y1 we can use 250 why because we are covering it down and then this line is already on 200 and we want the curve to be somewhere around here which is basically like 250 or maybe 300 let's use 250 and then for our x which is basically the middle uh, size that we slash 2 so now if we save this we should have our curve very 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 straightforward thanks for watching please like and subscribe and also feel free to comment if you have any questions and if you have any topics you like me to talk about in my next video thank you